when I first look at the uh, drawings, first thing I usually look for is uh, what what can we use from stock, stock items, stock flattage or walls, decks, risers, that sort of thing. From that point on, I can sort of figure out what I'm going to need for materials on top of use, reusing what we have, you know, recycle stuff back in through the whole process. The more we can do that, the better. Sort of deciding on which units to start on is kind of a, a, a paint issue as well. So you want to be able to get stuff out to the scenic painters that require the most time. You would have to get a bit of a jump start on those at the beginning. And uh, from then on, it's uh, try to leave some of the hidden upstage stuff or smaller items until the very end. It's kind of like a triage. Smaller, more insignificant parts of the set can be left till the end. We're about uh, eight or nine days out from uh, loading this onto a truck and taking it down to our venue. It's coming along quite well. It's, this is a very old school technique for, for scenography in that uh, everything is very, very flat. depends a lot on the uh, scenic painting to bring out the detail. So it's a very, it's very involved the painting. It relies heavily upon lots of different shades and perspectives. And under the theater lighting, it's all going to pop out and look great.